Week three of the Kila Challenge. Congratulations, we are so close. Um, a lot of you have been making this part of your routine either way, so thank you for showing up. We have a 30 minute full body today. We'll do a bit more of a lower body focus. And I have my mat down and my little three pound bars, and that's all you need. And lie back. Onto your elbows, elbow supported supine position, lift both knees up, open up your chest, squeeze your belly button in nice and tight, allow your palms to go flat, fingertips facing away from you, slowly lower down both your toes for four, three, two, tap at one, lift back up for four, three, two, it's one, down slow, up slow, belly button comes in even tighter, staying nice and grounded on our mats, down slow, up slow, down slow, up slow, hold at the center in six, five, four more, three, two, hold at the center here, option, to stay here, option to extend your legs. Breathe in, breathe out, left leg drops for four, just your left, three, two, it's one, lift it back up slow for four, three, two, it's one, drop your right slow. You will feel a bit of your quad here with your leg extended, that's okay. Open up your chest, brace your core. As you drop left, you drop right. Beautiful. Left slow, right slow. Back to bent legs, both legs tap in six, five, four more, three, two, back to ba bent legs, both legs go down for four, three, two, tap at one, lift up slow for four, three, two, it's one, down slow, up slow, down slow, up slow, Uh, I'm staying with Judy right now. Some of you might have seen her in class before. She is just sleeping right now. That's part of the joys of letting me stay with you is I rearrange your living room and I wake you up before you want to be. <laughs> She's training for a marathon or a half marathon right now. So she went out and she ran 10 miles yesterday and I was like, our activities are just so different from each other right now. <laughs> Down slow, up slow. I used to be such a runner, but my joints just don't love it. I don't love cardio. I really prefer strength training, but always good to mix it up. Hold at the top, six, five, four more, three, two, hold at the top. Option to extend your legs, right leg drops or four. Three, two, it's one, pick it back up for four. For three, two, it's one, left leg goes slow, down, back up, slow, right, and left. Option to stay here, option to grab your weights and get your arms into this. If you're using your arms, your torso lifts up just slightly with your leg every time, adding in a tiny bit of a crunch but still thinking about keeping your torso out long. Uh, nice. Stay with me. If you're using your weights, that means instead of in the su supported position, your opposite leg stays high. If you're using weights, that leg is going to drop and you bring the opposite leg up. Uh, stay with me. Move it down a little bit slower. When it gets to be too much, you bend your legs, you drop your elbows. <sighs> back to your toe taps in six. Elbows come back down. Five, four more, three, two. Elbows come back down. Lift your legs up. Toe taps for four. For three, for two. Tap at one, up slow for four. For three, two. It's one, down slow. Up slow. Beautiful team. Hi, Shar. Down slow. Up slow. Legs extend one more time in six. 
five, four more, three, two, legs extend. Maybe you get your arms into it. Bring up your right as you lift your torso. Bring up your left as you lift your torso. Nice. Again, if you're not using your arms today, one leg drops at a time. It is going to be heavy either way. Otherwise, you add on a little bit of a lift. Maybe you add on a little weight. Opportunity for your upper body to activate here. Nice. Boat pose. Heels drop in six. Five, four more, three, two, up for four. Up three, up two. Up one, down slow for four. Three, two, it's one. Same deal if you're using your weights, if you're using your arms, they're reaching out in front of you. Otherwise, your palms are planted. As you come down, you slowly come up. Roll your shoulders down away from your ears wherever you are. Maybe you start getting your legs involved. This can actually be helpful as a counterbalance as you go out. And in, nice team. Out slow, in slow. Palms are facing down towards the ground, toward your mat. Hold at the bottom, six, five. Your banana, three, two, nice Sophie, one. Hold it right there, hold it, hold it, hold it. Up two, down two, little pulses, yes, Sammy. Up two, down two, full range, six. Five, control it. Four more, three, two, up for four. Up three, nice, bridge at two. It's one, extend slow. Remember, you can always tuck your feet under something stable, chair, couch, whatever. That's gonna give you some more leverage to move a lot more smoothly. Try it out. See what that control gives you. As you go down slow, up slow. One more hold. It's at the bottom, another 15 seconds. Uh, 12, 11 more, you're at the bottom, eight, seven seconds at six, five, four more, three, two, hold it right here, squeeze, option to stay here, option to pulse up two, down two, full range in 10, not yet, nine, eight seconds at six, five, four more, three, two, up slow for four, three, two, hits one, drop your weights, lay all the way down, leg drops, Palms tuck under your butt cheeks in six, five, four more, three, two. Lose your weights, lie back all the way. Tuck your palms face down underneath your butt cheeks. Lift both your legs up and slowly drop for four, three, two. It's one, squeeze it as you lift for four, three, two. It's one, it's down slow, up slow. Nice, stay with me, down slow. Up slow, hold at the top in six, five, four more, three, two, hold at the top. And now untuck your palms, slight diagonal with your upper body, plant your palms down, slight diagonal, drop to the left for four, three, two, it's one, lift it back up slow, down to center. You're gonna feel a little bit less stable with your palms untucked, drop it to the right. Allow your opposite hip to lift up. Allow this oblique to take over. I want you activating through your obliques here. Lift up slow. Drop it to the left, to the center, <sighs> to the right. Slow it down. If it's ever too much, bend your legs. Bring your weight closer to your center of gravity. Same deal as you go side to side. Remove the center rep, it's just side to side. Uh, feel this opposite oblique lifting the weight of your legs, let that feel good. Hold it down to the left in six, five, four more, three, two. Hold it down on the left, pulse up two, down two, oh my God, up two, down two, switch over to the right in five, four more, three, two. Switch over to the right, up two, down two, both legs plant in six, five, four more, three, two, both legs plant, squeeze your glutes to the top of your glute bridge. We are in our lower body. If you want to add on your resistance band, absolutely grab it. Squeeze your glutes up two, down two, up two, down two. 
stay with me. Up two, down two. 10 seconds here, full range. Up all the way, down slow, six. Squeeze your glutes at the top, five. Spine stays neutral, four more. Three, two, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lower for four, lower three, lower two. Hover at one, up so for four. For three, it's two. Squeeze at one, down slow. Up slow, let your belly button fall towards your spine as you come up slow. Down slow. Yes, Annie. Up slow, down slow, hold at the top, six, five. Four more, Justine, there it is, two. Star one, hold at the top, squeeze it, release it. Maybe you let your eyes flutter closed, up two, down two, up two, down two, hold it up, six, five. Four more, three, two, hold at the top, squeeze your glutes, knees go out two, and two. Out two, and two. Band or no band, you're gonna feel your outer glutes start to activate here. And it's a slow, controlled pulse, okay? Your knees are moving out an inch and an inch. They start hip width distance apart, they go out one, they come in one, that's it. Out one, in one. If you feel your knees coming towards each other, you've gone too far. I want your knees never to sickle in more narrow than your hips because I don't want your hip flexors to take over. So knees stay wide this entire time. Out two and two. Hold it out. Six, five, four more. Three, two. Hold it on the outside of this pulse. And now come up two, down two. Squeeze your glutes. Up two, down two. Up two, down two. Nice team. We flip all the way over. Ten more seconds. Right leg extends for an outer glute lift in six, five, four more, three, two, flip all the way over. Right leg extends, left elbows down, hips are stacked on top of each other. This leg is going back behind you as you come up two, down two, at the top of a pulse, up two, down two. Beautiful, stay there. Think about stacking your hips on top of each other. So your hip is opened up. Instead of side to side squared off, hips are stacked. Uh, almost like you're getting your torso into a side plank position. Full range in six, five, four more, three, two, up, 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 slow, lower for four, lower three, lower two, lower one. I want you to relax your left foot. I want you to open your hips up a little bit more. Up slow, down slow. Uh, I want you to try to relax your entire left leg. You may feel some stuff, some things happening in that hip. That's okay. Do your best. Just keep your hips nice and open and think about squeezing this top piece of your right glute. Your range of motion. I want you to get, on, to get up as high as you possibly can, pinching that glute. And on the way down, you'll stop around hip level. Up slow. Down slow, you look amazing, team. Keep moving. Nice, Sammy. Perfect, Bridget, I like that focus. Ha, uh, stay with me at the top six. Five more, Annie, you got four. Justine, three, short two. Sophie, one, hold it right there. Extend your leg up, bring it up two inches higher. Up two, down two, up two down to feel the activation, feel a little of that burning sensation, that tiny little piece of your outer glute. It is a lot smaller than when we were working our entire center glute. Uh, you're asking a much smaller piece of the muscle to do the work here, especially during this pulse. We'll spread it out a tad through our outer glute in 10, full range, six, five, four more, three, two, up, 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 all the way up, lower for four. Lower three, lower two, about hip level, stop there. One, up slow. Think about sending this leg back behind you. As you come up, you slowly come back down. Uh, hold at the top, six, five, four more, three, two, nice. Bend your knee, bring it up to your shoulder, flex your foot, press it back behind you. In, back out. Uh, like you're kicking something behind you and then you swoop your knee back up 
towards your shoulder and notice your right oblique here. Your right oblique is starting to stabilize you. You'll have a little bit of movement in your torso, that's okay, but you're gonna start to feel some reactivation in your right oblique. Stay with me. Uh, we're gonna circle through a fire hydrant in six, five, four more, three, two, hold the top of a fire hydrant, circle it back and up. Getting some mobility in your hip. Uh, you can relax your foot here, slow it down. Notice how shifting your weight again is firing your oblique as well. You're feeling your outer glute here, starting to feel your outer thigh. Circle it the other way in six, five, four more, three, two, circle the other way. Uh, if you're feeling a bit of your left glute as well, that is totally normal. We open up our torso, 10 more seconds, we do an outer thigh lift in six, five, four more, three, two, plant your left hand, right hand comes up high, right leg extends straight out from your body, up and down. This top hand can be lifted up towards the sky, can be on your hip, okay? And notice how your left hip may be cramping. Try taking your feet and swinging it down, your left foot towards the bottom of your mat. That's gonna help open up your hip. Uh, if you're still feeling it, you can come down to your left hip and focus on just bringing this leg up and down. You won't get quite as much oblique action there, but you'll still be working the same part of your outer thigh that we are now targeting. Feeling a little bit less glute, a little bit more quad in that other thigh. Your range of motion, you're using an even smaller muscle, is frustratingly small. Slow it down. Uh, this time you're hovering on top of the mat, on top of the floor. You're lifting up just a couple of inches as far as you can take it. And maybe lift this hand back up to get your oblique to reactivate a little bit more. You can literally feel it flexing at the top here. It's up slow, down slow. We have one hold, there's no pulse in six, five, four more, three, two, hold it right here. There's no pulse, hold it, hold it, hold it. 10 seconds, full range to finish this off, six, five, four more, three, two, up, 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 slow, lower for four, lower three, lower two, hover one, up slow, down slow. Team, you look amazing, so damn strong. Look at your obliques just popping out over there. Up slow, down slow. We flip over in 10. Second leg in six, we're out of this first one. Five, four more, three, two. Flip all the way over. Right elbow goes down, left leg goes up and back behind you. Up two, down two. The outer piece of this left butt cheek is now working. If you feel your first side, that is totally normal, that's okay. Think about swinging your feet towards the bottom of your mat in order to help open that hip flexor up. Full range in six, five, four more, three, two, up, 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 lower for four, lower three, lower two, lower one, back and up, down slow, up slow. Squeeze your core, squeeze your torso, allow your left oblique to start getting into this. Think about stopping right around hip level and then coming back up again. Down to hip level, back and up again. Opening up your hips. Instead of squared off and we're doing a donkey kick, this hip is fully opened. This leg is extended almost back behind you at a diagonal to keep your hip nice and open. Uh, squeeze at the top, six, five, four more, three, two. Hold at the top, squeeze your glute, up two, down two. So think about squeezing in to the top of your left butt cheek. That is what is creating that movement in your entire leg. Up two, down two, back to full range, six, five, Four more, three, two, up, 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 slow, lower for four, lower three, lower two, hover one, focus on staying nice and grounded today. We are working with a little bit of instability, but for the most part, we are connecting down 
with our mats. Uh, staying nice and solid, allowing that to give us a little bit more power. Hold of the top, six, five, four more, three, two. Hold of the top, keep your knee high, bend it up towards your shoulder for four. For three, two, it's one, flex your foot, swing your leg back behind you. Uh, keep your knee high as you come forward, nice area like that smooth movement. Beautiful Charlotte keeping her knee as high as her hip for this entire range of motion, not letting it drop. Yes, yeah, Sophie, uh, team, you look amazing. Think about aiming for your shoulder, not your elbow. If you end up a little bit closer to your elbow, that's okay, but I want this knee as lifted as possible. Uh, we come into the top of our fire hydrant and another 15 seconds. Squeeze your core, let your oblique take some of this work. 10, nine, top of the fire hydrant, six, five, four more, three, two, top of our fire hydrant. Sweep it back and around. You can relax your foot. Uh, slow it down. Feel your outer glute, feel your outer thigh working. We circle it back the other way in six. Try to relax your opposite side. Five, four more. Three, two. Sweep it back the other way. Breathe. Slow it down with your breath. Big exhale. Big inhale. We open back up. Ten more seconds. Outer thigh lift in six. Five. Four more, three, two. So instead of your outer glute lift, now it's our outer thigh lift, which means we're opening up all the way, pointing our right, right toes down towards the bottom of our mat. Lift this left leg up, let it hover, lift up for four, lift up three, lift up two, lift up one, lower four for three, two. It's one. You know your variation options. Take what you need today. You can bring this hand up. You can keep it down on your hip. And you can also come down fully to your right hip. We have one hold here, no pulses. We are about to finish our lower body. Uh, notice how your oblique is continuing to work here. You can literally feel it flexing as you lift up. Find your one and only hold in 10, 9, 8 seconds at 6. Five, four more, three, two, hold it right here. Up two, down two, up two, down two. So good. Notice how my hand is starting to creep out away from me. Keep that hand right underneath your shoulder. Watch your alignment. Nice adjustment, Justine. Uh, keep going in this full range team. Up slow, down slow. Uh, both elbows come down. Knees or toes, five, low plank and four. More, three, two, it's one. Both elbows are down. You're holding your low plank. Hips in line with your shoulders. Squeeze right here, first plank of class. Drop your right hip, drop your left hip. It's right, it's left. Pull your chin in, it's left. It's right. Think about keeping your forms parallel to each other. Elbows are down, palms are flat. As you drop left, you drop right. Uh, plant your knees. We've got push-ups. Come up to your palms in six, five, four more, three, two. If you're feeling good, you can always take your toes. Elbows go wide for four. Lower three, lower two, lower one. Hover it, up slow for four, three, two. Hover one, it's down slow. Up slow, squeeze into your abdomen. As you lower down, lifting back up. Lower down, hold at the bottom, six, five, four more, three, two, hold right here. Pulse up two, down two. Grab your weights in six, kneel, stand or sit, five, four more, three, two. Press all the way up, grab your weights. Palms face forward, serve the platter, up for four. Up three, up two, up one, 
Palms are facing up towards the ceiling, shoulders stacked on top of your hips. Bend your knees for four. Three, two, it's one. Bend your elbows, knees are already bent. Up slow, down slow. And I want you to start feeling your core stabilize you as you shift your weight away from you, as your elbows come back. Your torso is not moving. Up slow, down slow. Feel your core activate. It is active through all of the upper body, all the lower body that we do. You're still strengthening your core even when we're not doing our planking or mat core series. It is active. You have an opportunity to strengthen so much of your body through so many of these moves. Even when it looks like we're just doing these tiny little pulses, you're generally working quite a few different muscle groups. So here you're mostly feeling your biceps. You're feeling a little bit of your chest when you get towards the top, but your stabilizer muscles in your core are working this entire time. And oftentimes the stabilizer muscles, when your core gets asked to do that, that's gonna be a lot more efficient than any sort of crunching movements where you're just working the superficial front piece of your abdomen. So really focus on your entire body and each movement that we do. Hold at the top, six, five, four more. Three, two, hold right here. That means your shoulders are dropped down away from your ears, shoulders stacked right on top of your hips, slight bend in your elbows. It almost feels like you're trying to lean forward because your torso really wants to lean back to counterbalance these weights. Shoulders are right on top of your hips, though it's up two. Down two, tiny little bend in your elbow for this pulse. Up two, down two. It's a front raise, the difference is Arms stay out long in six, five, four more, three, two. Arms stay out long for four. Down towards your knees. They pass your knees. They go almost to your hips. They stop right there. Press up for four, three, two. It's one, team. It's our final move in class today. Uh, you are so strong. You got up. You did it. This is it. You're about to finish. Hold at the top in six, five. Four more, three, two. Hold it right here. Bend your elbows down two, up two. Down two, up two. Hold right here, six, five. Hold at the top, four more, three, two. Hold right here. Now swing your arms out about halfway. Hold. I'm gonna give you a number and I want that to push you, okay, instead of daunt you. You've got 22 seconds, stay with me. Shoulders are down away from your ears. <sighs> you just hold. Shoulders, let them fall down away from your ears. Breathe in, breathe out. We're down to 12 seconds. What can you do at that time? You look absolutely amazing. You look so damn strong. We're down to nine, eight seconds. When we drop in seven, you go down slow. It's controlled. It's five, not yet. Four, not yet. Stay with me. It's three, it's two, it's one. Lower down slowly. Drop your weights. Amazing job, team. You did so good. I'm gonna do like a two minute stretch. Stay with me if you can. Come down into your child's pose. I want your knees super wide here to give yourself some space to just sink onto your mat. Uh, breathe in, breathe out. Uh, take whatever little movement feels good. Maybe walk your fingertips out a little bit further. Shift your hips left and right maybe. Big breath in, big breath out. Walk your fingertips to the right side. Walk your fingertips to the left. Beautiful.